Hey there guys, here with a quick update video, and um, I haven't put out too much redstone content, there's a reason for that. For the past two weeks or so, as Jokey and I have been working hours on end collaboratively to make this epic board game. It's a two-player redstone-based board game, entirely digitalized, no, uh, you know, honor system involved, it's all computer-based, um, pretty much. It's not a full-blown computer, but... It acts a lot like one. It's one of those, um, I wouldn't call it, it's really not a microcontroller in any, um, effect. It's just, it can be compared to one. If you see those, like, you know, little Fisher Price games where they're not really computers, but they, they're electronic circuits that are tailored to do one thing and one thing only, that's what this is. It's a uh, very complex circuit for, uh, solely doing one thing. And this circuit cannot be optimized to do something else. But um, either way, that doesn't take away from how epic it is. Uh, I'll just do a quick flyby. We generously lit it up. From the main area there that I was just standing on, we try to hide all the torches so they're behind blocks. You can see them from out here, but that doesn't really matter. So this is player two, bunch of circuitry everywhere. And over here, hopefully, uh, that the blocks at the top don't give away what it is, but they shouldn't. It's mirrored. <laughs> and even if you did catch it for more than a second, then uh, you probably couldn't formulate what it is. I'm sure if you looked at it right on from this close, it wouldn't look right anyway. And this is player one, and all the circuit circuitry in between. Now the problem with this, the reason it's so crazy, is every single feature of this entire game has to check between both. So it's like, if player one does something, it basically always has to check with player two, for the most part. There's uh, one or two functions that don't need to do that. But um, yeah, everything has to check back and forth, hence the crazy bussing. That looks absolutely awesome. Let me fly through the middle here. These are all the outputs and latches for the controls. Multiplexers I just passed. These are uh, binary, not binary, but um, cascading counters, I think you would call it. It just counts up from 0 to 1 to 2 to 3 to 4 and then resets. Um, win, lose, and gate. Don't want to give it away too much. Um, coding is all I'm going to say about that. And then back into the counters, and it's identical on the other side. Just just so much stuff to go over. Uh, what we did is, uh, it's private right now, so you guys can't see it until it's been released, unfortunately, but as Jokey and I worked for five hours straight, we made um, a fully interactive um, annotated tutorial where uh, it'll pop up um, with the main screen and you can pick, like, I want to see how the display works or something, and it would bring you to the display, and you can uh, watch a little short clip about how that works. And furthermore, the controls are a little bit more involved. The, if you hit the control menu, it brings you to uh, a subcategory <laughs> with subcategories in it. So basically, you hit main controls, it brings you to the main control. And um, the main control board, which is this here, I'm not going to go inside of the actual player modules. And then you can actually click on each individual button or uh, feature to see what it does. And that'll bring you to a clip in the video, pause it, and then it, that'll have a description and a highlight and everything. Very, very cool. We worked very hard on that. And um, also, our download consists of the map save, a schematic, a HTML coded readme, courtesy of Azajuki, um, and his one day HTML experience that he just learned when he coded it. And um, it also has a, it just has a notepad document that doesn't actually have text in it, it just says created by us. And also, we have signs crediting us. And in here, we have a little museum showing our uh, circuitry. The rules are the simple rules are down there. We have, um, of course, the annotated t tutorial for more advanced um, tips and everything. Not tips, but descriptions. Down here is the um, our, our little museum. This is a block switcher we made. So check this out. Pretty cool, and um, not that hard to do. But when you look at it, we actually used two pistons to push it out two blocks. Probably didn't have to, but. Um, we had a, an original design for um, something else, and we didn't end up using it, but it works well with this uh, system. That's our win-lose indicator. I'm not going to show any more. I don't want to give anything away. But just expect this within the next 24 hours. And um, we are shooting um, for Digital Diamond, and we want Digital Diamond very badly. We, I, I don't think... I'm sure you guys understand there's a time difference, but there's like a 12-hour time difference between us. More than that, like 14 hours or something. So when he gets home from school, it is 2 a.m. for me. So I have to wait till 2 a.m. and then we work until I can 
I can't take it anymore and have to go to bed, which is usually around 6, 7 a.m. done that for the past few days, and it's really taking a toll, but uh, I think well worth it in the end. We achieved one of the most epic redstone builds I have ever seen. I mean, the computers are awesome and everything. I'm not going to, you know, just say that this is better because it's mine and everything. It's just, this thing is so cool looking, so, uh, I, I just can't believe we pulled it off. So, uh, that's all I'm going to say. I don't want to go too far and praise myself and put myself on some high pedestal, but, yeah. Oh, look. Someone griefed something. It was probably an Enderman. Let me fix that really quickly. There we go. Hopefully that's not in the save. I don't think it is. I think it's because I was sitting here on easy with uh, guys walking around. But anyway, um, that's it. Stay tuned. Next 24 hours this will be up. And please, um, if you like what you see, uh, recommend us for Digital Diamond. And I'll, show you, I'll tell you guys how to do that in the description. So uh, see you guys later.